The investments I propose tonight also advance the foreign policy, in my view, that benefits the middle class. That means making sure every nation plays by the same rules in the global economy, including China. My discussions, in my discussion with President Xi, I told him, we welcome the competition. We're not looking for conflict. But I made absolutely clear that we will defend America's interests across the board. America will stand up to unfair trade practices and undercut American workers and American industries like subsidies from state to state-owned operations and enterprises and the theft of American technology and intellectual property. I also told President Xi that we'll maintain a strong military presence in the Indo-Pacific just as we do with NATO and Europe. Not to start a conflict, but to prevent one. told them what I've said to many world leaders, that America will not back away from our commitments, our commitment to human rights and fundamental freedoms and to our alliances. And I pointed out to him, no responsible American president could remain silent when basic human rights are being so blatantly violated. An American president, president has to represent the essence of what our country stands for. America is an idea the most unique idea in history. We are created, all of us, equal. It's who we are. And we cannot walk away from that principle and, in fact, say we're dealing with the American idea. With regard to Russia, I know it concerns some of you, but I made very clear to Putin that we're not going to seek ex 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 excuse me, escalation, but their actions will have consequences if they turn out to be true, and they turned out to be true. So I responded directly and proportionally to Russia's interference on our elections and the cyber attacks on our government and our business. They did both of these things, and I told them we would respond, and we have. But we can also cooperate when it's our mutual interest. We did it when we extended the New START Treaty on Nuclear Arms, and we're working to do it on climate change. But he understands we will respond. On Iran and North Korea, nuclear programs that present serious threats to American security and the security of the world. We're going to be working closely with our allies to address the threats posed by both of these countries through, di through diplomacy as well as stern deterrence. And American leadership means ending the forever war in Afghanistan. We have, we have, without hyperbole, the greatest fighting force in the history of the world. I'm the first president in 40 years and knows what it means to have a son serving in a war zone. Today, we have service members serving in the same war zone as their parents did. We have service members in Afghanistan who are not yet born on 9-11. The war in Afghanistan, as we remember the debates here, were never meant to be multi-generational undertakings of nation building. We went to Afghanistan to get terrorists. The terrorists who attacked us on 9-11. And we said we would follow Osama bin Laden to the gates of hell to do it. If you've been in the upper Konar Valley, you've kind of seen the gates of hell. And we delivered justice to bin Laden. We degraded the terrorist threat of al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. And after 20 years of value, valor, and sacrifice, it's time to bring those troops home.